Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, D-Generation X proudly brings to you one half of its tag team champions of the world. It's a road to the D, to the O, to the double G. It's the road dog, Jesse James. All right, so he is the uh, free character for this month. It is Road Dog DX Army. He is a showboat. You're going to be getting him at one star bronze to begin with. Obviously, there's the extra pack where you can get him at two star bronze and three star bronze. His coach ability at 15,000 is take 65% less damage from purple submission moves. Pretty useful if you're facing a Carmella, for example. He has links with D-Generation X and Attitude Era and only one set of gear. Now, he has a couple moveset that you can do. They are all very similar, uh, pretty simple movesets. It's basically a uh, boat red and whatever. <laughs> it's uh, You can use boat red and any of the other like five moves, and that's pretty much what's going to work out the best. Uh, the first one we're going to have a look at here is the five star moveset, which unfortunately is the one that I believe is the best one of them, which most people won't get him to five star uh, it is the yellow tree red red it's a shake rattle roll 9 mp yellow move deal 36.4k damage and destroy six random red gems the free fall drop 9 mp red move deal 33.6k damage and make five random gems into yellow gems and the falling inverted suplex 8 mp red move deal 29.9k damage and make five random blacks into yellow gem basically you're making a bunch of yellows that gives you your yellow finisher which is not a finisher is going to destroy red get you part of what you need because it destroys six and you need eight or nine and then that's your recycling right there, or hopefully it is. Now, trainers for that, we're going to be using Sting and Ziggler, which is pretty much what we're going to be using for all the movesets, all, uh, from what I can see. And I'm putting all of Fame Booker to create one extra yellows right there, and uh, X back to uh, help getting those, uh, those red back. Uh, you could use Rikishi instead of Booker, although you're still going to be making like 20 of those yellow. Well, up to 20 because you might not have enough black to make 20, but this one for sure 10. So that should be enough to load your uh, yellow move. It's probably also going to end your turn. So we're going to see. I mean, on paper, I'm not like... He seems pretty average on paper. So uh, let's see... Uh, how well he does in an actual match. So we look at the buffs that I do have right now. 15% more health, gem do 15% more damage. That's the feud bonus. Take 10% less damage from all color move. That is the uh, standard uh, perk that's always on. And the current MLC that is not over yet gives me 20% more health. All color moves start with three more and a match plus two. Uh, those are going to go away in a few hours. So sorry for the delay. I'm posting this rather late. That's because I got him very late. I actually got him once I started working. So obviously I couldn't touch him because I was working. And I'm using my dinner break to do this. So <laughs> if you hear my stomach, that's because I'm starving myself to do this. So let's get on with it versus Vader. All right. We only have one that is ready. I'm going to try to use it still. Maybe that's going to be enough to fill that yellow move. It is.
build it again. Now, unfortunately, we only have four reds on the board. Gonna be enough to fill one. All right, can use that again and hope to refill the yellow. Wasn't much black to convert, unfortunately. He's the one that benefited from all my yellows. <laughs> Okay, kicked out. Let's get those. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have my yellow move, but as with most moves that destroy specific gem, after using them a few times, they're rather useless because you don't have any of the reds left. And now we're lucky in this case because it's Vader and he just created a bunch of reds which he just got rid of, so we're back to the issue I was talking about. <laughs> I got three reds now. It's a pretty common issue with most characters that have moved that destroy specific colors, is that you run out of those colors really fast. I wasn't sure we were going to get out of that. Right, let's use this. Okay, let's get some yellows. got the win. This is a spec that looked the best, so that's gonna be a rough one. <laughs> right, let's let's try the rest and see if something works better than this. All right, second move set, pretty similar, but this time we're gonna be using the yellow two instead of the yellow three. Uh, this one is going to be the inverted leapfrog body guillotine, which is 7 MP yellow move, deal 33.7k damage and choose 5 gems to make into reinforced gems, and a free fall drop and the falling inverted suplex we already used. This is basically, we're going to use those two to get the yellow, and then hopefully uh, have some red connection we can make, which we're going to put the reinforce on. It's going to be relying really, really hard on luck for this. Uh, I'm guess I'm guessing we could probably instead just use, uh, for example, the same yellow we already had, the five star one, instead of one of the two red, and then uh, put this on red and destroy those to have them remain there. I'm trying to see something that works without being five star here. So. Trainers are going to remain the same, Sting and a Ziggler, along with Booker and x back. Right, let's use this. We do have a couple of reds lined up, so that's pretty good. Nothing matched. Let's get those. Crap, he took my red I had there. 
That's not gonna work. Uh, okay, let's get that. Perfect, he didn't touch the red this time. Although we do have both reds ready already. Now uh, ah, what the hell, let's use it anyway. First one here, although there's only two blacks. Right, and now we don't have red connecting, so that's not gonna work. Uh, let's drop this. That did connect. Got an extra turn. We'll be able. I got. I got pretty lucky on this one. into yellow. Make some more randoms. Okay, we do have some reds. Get out of that. One, two, and 25. How much does that do? Okay, that's gonna do it. Okay. Um. This worked a lot better than I thought it would, but, and it's a big but, we got lucky quite a few times in there, and this spec is really, really board dependent. So, I would expect this is one of those specs that is you usually can either work really well, or you'll be completely screwed out. So, it works, but it works. <laughs> Alright, let's look at something else. All right, this one's gonna be the yellow one with boat red. It doesn't say finisher, but it should be a finisher. It is the pump handle drop, 11 MP yellow move, deals 66.5K damage and destroys six random yellow gems and the two moves that uh, make random yellows. So this is gonna be again using Sting and Ziggler with uh, Booker and Axe pack. Main difference is this one is not going to do anything for your red it's just going to destroy ye yellow and hopefully you're going to be making and destroying yellow as you go 
That looks like another iffy one. Let's give it a shot. Okay, let's do this. Move animation looked weird. Almost looked like he lost the hang of him. I mean, Vader's a big dude. Okay. Use this one to make more yellows. Okay, use that. Break some yellows. Now I got nothing for next turn. Okay, uh, I don't have any red match, so let's go for yellow. Okay, let's take reds here. Over into black, that should give me my yellow. Go. Break it. It's an awful lot of turns. Again, it works. It is awfully board dependent yet again, though. And really long. Alright, let's uh, look at something else. Alright, other moveset. This time it's going to be the black one, a red red. There's the shaky knee drop. 8 MP black move, deal 29.9k damage and make 4 random gems into red gems and then we have the 2 reds that generate yellow. Basically, we're going to start with the black move that's going to get us our red. The red are going to do damage with the yellows, but nothing's going to be reloading the black. So we're going to be uh, we're going to have to reload that on our own. So no no recycling here. 
Not sure how that's going to go. We're going to go with Brace since we're going to be starting with that. We could go with Sting. The problem if we go with Sting is that we're going to have both of our reds ready, but they're not going to fill our black or anything. So better off going with Brave for that. Big John Stud to create more reds because since we already have Booker, we're going to have two moves that make six here. And anyway, those are not really going to give us anything. So no big deal there. And X back to reload those reds because they're the one that's going to be making most of the damage. So yeah, not convinced about this one. We'll see. Make a bunch of reds. Ropes uh, vanished there. All right, that filled them. Convert the blacks into yellows, which is not going to help reloading those blacks. That didn't work too well. Crap. Oh, I got another set. We don't have any red, but we do have black. Okay, let's use that before we use the black. Okay. again Managed to get out of it. Make more yellows. Not convinced we're going to be able to win this one. Okay, let's convert blacks into yellows. That's the main problem of this spec. I mean, I'm getting rid of the blacks that I need. It worked. It worked. I mean, the spec works, but why would you use that? I don't know. Right, let's look at something else. All right, last spec. 
This time it's going to be the black two and both reds. It's the avalanche pile driver, three MP black move, deal 9k damage and increase your yellow gem damage by 98% for four turns. And then we get both red. So basically we're going to try, we're going to, we're going to get that black out. We're going to use both reds to try to maximize or on or yellow damage for that turn. And then try to hurry up to load those reds again so we can use it uh, before it ends up and maybe stack another one of those. We'll see if we can do that. Trainers, we're back to Sting and Ziggler to help with those. And we keep again a Booker and X back. Do this. Not much of a problem getting that black up because it costs only three but uh, might be an issue as far as uh, getting those red up so we're basically just gonna waste the first turn didn't want to waste some yellows but this didn't have much the reason why i did waste the turn is because i wanted to have both reds ready uh, hopefully the first one is not going to end my turn, but I think it might because there's quite a few blacks that connect with yellow. Yeah. Still did a decent amount of damage though. Right now our yellows are at 11k. Let's use the other red since we still have it. Reloaded the black. Okay, we don't have any red. I will use this again. Because I'm going to reload again. Again, let's put another stack of that. Having issues getting my red here. Do have a red here. Our yellow is at 11k, so we're back to one stack. Okay, and now make randoms. This worked out kind of better than I expected it would.
All right, so that pretty much is it for the road dog. I'd say he's average at best, uh, not horrible, definitely not great or good. Uh, very like pretty much what you'd expect out of a freak actor, really. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for road dog. Uh, you can obviously try some mix and match with that. Uh, you could maybe try the double yellow and one of the reds, the free fall here. Maybe that would work too. I mean, most of the moves that are centered about using both red and anything else, really. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be a rough one. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Gio. Ciao.